Watch this shit, people. Grown ass man pulling this woman like this. All because she had her foot on the damn seat. Look at that punk ass motherfucker. That motherfucker. And he's a sergeant too. That's what those stripes mean. She had her foot on the seat. She called him an asshole. That is her fucking First Amendment right. Yo, that girl is so scared, man. I wish I could get put in a cage with that fucking cop, bro. I'd break every bone in his fucking face. And I want you to pay attention to how he said he enjoyed every minute of it. That's really abuse of power, officer. Over her train, over over her foot on a seat. She wasn't blocking anybody else from sitting down. Michelangelo, Real Talk Radio. This is police brutality. I really wish that these women would have known more about their rights because you're going to see what happens. This bitch ass cop calls for backup and places several people under the arrest. They had no right to be placed under arrest. Now this other woman stands up for her so she gets locked up too. But not one grown ass man stands up. Investigation. I don't believe it's racism. I just believe he's a piece of shit who thinks he can do whatever he wants because he's got a badge. You know, they start talking about racism. You see, you know, there's a lot of cops that are different races, man. It's not about race, it's the problem that they got a badge and they think they can do whatever the fuck they want. They know that they take that badge off and if they were to give you a fair fight, chances are you break his fucking jaw. Me, I'd fucking put one hand at the bottom, one hand on the top of his jaw and try to rip that shit apart. Oh, and he told the dude that filming that he was next. I thought it was a woman at first. I guess he's just gay or something. But. And I'm gonna do follow-ups. So we need people. We need police in this world, but we don't need police like this. And I'm gonna do everything in my power to expose these police. And make sure they not only lose their job, but they're also held accountable for their actions. Because if any other grown ass man were to grab that woman like that, basically she's still a girl, they'd be arrested. Is it the end of the month? It is the end of the month. You need to meet your quota. You need to meet your fucking quota. So you know what? This is money for you right now. This is the money for you. Watch, he says he enjoys it. She's not doing anything that's illegal. That's what I'm trying to point out about this. Neither one of them do. I know I'm kind of talking over it, but you know, this is Michelangelo Real Talk. I'm talking my feelings about how, I mean, yo, this shit is pathetic, man. And it's not even over. 
And here's the thing people don't understand too. So now these girls, if they, you know, get arrested, they're going to have something on the record. All for what? And here's the thing. You people keep bitching about how people keep going, breaking the laws and shit like that. Well, why don't you let a motherfucker actually get a decent job? Because you know what? People, they got damn kids too, man. You know what I'm saying? And working at McDonald's just don't cut it. Start giving people a fucking chance to actually rehabilitate themselves. You know what I'm saying? Especially people that go to prison, man. It ain't about rehabilitation. It's about fucking survival. I swear, man, I can't stand that motherfucker's face. I'm gonna smash it. Actually, you know, somebody right now at this point in time, there's somebody actually getting raped. There's somebody that really need. Oh, I'm glad she's spitting his face. This is that's what I'm saying, man. There's somebody that really needs help, and this is what they're fucking doing. And not one of those cops fucking stand up for what's right. So many jackets. So many police over two women. Two women. 